<laughs> awesome. Thank everyone for joining us for week three of the weekly CTF challenge. We have with us again, Tara Melton and Jessica Hyde. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Fresh good start week. to the week. Yes, last week was a busy week for the CTF. We had all sorts of things going on. Um, yeah, Tara, you issued the question last week. Everyone mm -hmm. seemed to like that. Got a lot of response to that. And then uh, your trivia question, which we all thought it was going to be a little bit harder than it was, but somebody had just happened to sit through one of your talks. Uh, it was Shellcon, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, in Shellcon. Yeah, somebody had just sat through your Shellcon talk and uh, knew the answer right away. So there you go. Um, but this week, uh, we are going to first review Jad's uh, week one question. Next week, we will review uh, Tara's question for week two. Uh, but that being said, this week, we're going to review Jad's uh, initial question. So Tara, can you uh, kind of walk us through that uh, solve? Sure, let me go ahead and share my screen really quick. Hopefully you can see this. All right. See your screen. See all right, perfect. So the question was, uh, can you remind me what the question was? I don't have it up on my screen right now. It's <laughs> Trey, I apologize. I, I, can, <laughs> I can pull it up exactly. I'm already in the CTF. It is, yep. what time was the file that maps names to IPs recently accessed? All right. Please answer in the UTC format. So as um, you may or may not be aware, uh, depending on the operating system, uh, it depends on where the file path is of this particular file, but it's always going to be the host file that will uh, be the one that maps the IPs to the domains. So what I'm going to do here in Axiom is actually I'm already in this Android image, and I'm just going to easily search on this uh, file name column and just filter on that for this host file. And I'll change this drop down to look at all subfolders. <laughs> so this is just a really easy way to get to that file here. And you can see that we do have some hits here. And looking at the file path, we have this system at Etsy hosts. And right here we have the time. So that is a very easy way to get to the answer. But I love all the awesome write-ups that we had seen um, doing command line and, and whatnot. I think Trey's going to go through some of those here in just a second. But that is just one way to answer that question here in Axiom uh, pretty quickly and easily. You know what I love? I love that this was a little bit of a knowledge question because you had to know which file was associated. But I <laughs> love 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 how many different ways there were to get this answer mm -hmm. and i think that's the coolest thing about this is reading the write-ups uh, that people are doing and they're getting additional points for because i'm getting to understand the way different examiners work and there were so many different as quote unquote simple of a question that we started out with to give some diversity to the technical difficulty of these questions that there was still such a great diversity of methodology for how these were answered. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, to Tara's point, so we are doing uh, Android for the month of October. Uh, keep doing your write-ups, keep tagging us uh, with those write-ups so that we can obviously award points. But uh, at the end of the month, I'm actually going to do kind of a recap blog where we're going to highlight, uh, you know, the leaderboard. Uh, we're going to definitely make sure all the points are up to date, uh, you know, right when I do that blog as well. So we're kind of updating those points, you know, roughly uh, once a week or so, we'll kind of go in and uh, pull all that together and update the leaderboard. Uh, so with that blog, though, we're also going to highlight uh, each week's solve and we're going to pull in some of the blogs uh, and write ups that we're finding as well for other people to be able to you know research and see how people are solving uh, these as well. So awesome work y'all. Yeah, we had some really good ones. Uh, you know, DFIR science, Mets wrote a great one. Um, we had, uh, I'm trying to think, I've, I've got tons of them already pulled up. Uh, yeah, Baker Street Forensics, uh, Kevin wrote it, yes. did a great one as well. Um, so there's a bunch of them out there, but we're going to highlight a bunch of them uh, in that write up blog that kind of recaps the entire month as well. So uh, hey, Trey, if I yeah. may, can I make a suggestion? As all of you are starting you new, your new blogs, make sure you tag um, uh, or you reach out to at Phil Moore, who runs This Week in Forensics. So then when you're blogging about these things, they'll make This Week in Forensics, but also as you blog about different topics in your research and the things you start to share on your new blogs that they'll get shared with the community as well. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, great, great point. And yeah, one of the ones I think, uh, Tara, that you mentioned about, you know, or uh, Jess, you mentioned about just doing it in command line. I'm going to butcher this, but CFECA Forensics, CFECA maybe? That was like that. amazing. That was such yeah. a great write-up. I loved that. Yeah. That was awesome. 
yeah, that was uh, that was awesome. So that being said, uh, keep, I love keep solving deeper, different ways. I love deeper sciences write up because it went yep. through the mental process and mm -hmm. also the the where um, where he was running or she was running into different complexities and where decisions were being made about is this what the question is looking for? It really spoke to the technical depth of sometimes when we dig further than we need to on a question because we're expecting it to be harder, but also talked about where you get to wrong answers and then how you convert to right answers. And I just thought it was a brilliant technical write up that really showed the mental process of looking at a problem. Absolutely. I think as examiners, we all know the the uh, the quandary of going down the rabbit hole when we don't always necessarily I have to. Everyone's been through that. that so <laughs> I, I love, love that, yeah. that post. It was just brilliant. And I think there's so much to learn from reading that post. Um, Absolutely. And that's one thing, even if you solved it, check out the way other people solved it. It's exciting. Yes. It's yep. so cool. I love it. And actually bringing that uh, DFIR science up, I want to give a shout out as well. Uh, that actually Actually, I don't know if y'all saw in some of the uh, tagging on Twitter, but the FIR Science actually made a quick Python and uh, script and posted it to their GitHub to uh, uh, consolidate tweets uh, based on hashtags. Uh, so you can see track numbers and all that. So kudos and thank you for that. That was awesome. Uh, so that being said, we're going to go into week three. Uh, and with that, I think at the end of uh, or Going into week four, let's go ahead and just say week four. We're going to announce what November's image is going to be so that everyone can go ahead and download it, process it, uh, and get ready for that. We might even have a guest on as well. Uh, we will see. Uh, but that being said, we're going to switch things up in November and have a new image to work off of. Uh, so that being said, if for whatever reason y'all aren't getting the points that you think, you know, you wrote a blog and we maybe just missed it, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself, Tara, Jess on the Discord. We're happy to address and uh, you know double check because we are tracking you know the changes for points and all that. So please make sure we are, like I said, updating them uh, you know about once a week. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and issue out this week's challenge. And this week's challenge is brought to us by Jess. And we're going to start first. Uh, I think we're the tradition now of starting with some trivia. So let's start oh. with the trivia question first. And then we will issue out the actual week challenge. So everyone, you get one guess, put it in the Discord. And whoever gets it right first gets... Uh, Jess, how many points do you want to do? You want to do five? You want to do ten points? Oh, let's do ten because we're leaving we're leaving the realm of maybe something about us and we're we're talking about an external thing. So let's do ten. All Just right. For fun. Plus ten points for the winner. So what's your trivia question? So this goes out to those folks who have been watching Cash Up. I'm gonna ask a question uh, that comes from an episode and you should be able to quickly figure out which one and then maybe scroll through or maybe you remember this answer. But my question is, on Cash Up, what did guest Heather Smith tell us she farms? What does Heather Smith farm? Nice. I like question. it. Question. First that one to answer question. in Discord. <laughs> yep. Yep. First one, one to get the answer right. Awesome. I'm, I'm looking That's forward to the wrong answers. <laughs> That's awesome. And speaking of Cash Up, who do you have on tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, I have the one and only Shanna Daly. So we're going down under for tomorrow's episode, all the way straight to us from Australia. I believe that uh, it'll be 2 a.m. when we broadcast her time. Oh, uh, so lots of credit to Shanna for, for joining us in the middle of the night, her time. Uh, but that's the way time zones work. And really, really excited uh, to have Shanna on tomorrow and learn about her journey, her starting her own forensics company after having been an employee at Man and and what that journey was like awesome Very and she's cool. a lot of fun let me tell you i've had some amazing times with her both in australia and at besides nola and she is just a spitfire and so smart and so it's going to be so much fun awesome can't wait for that awesome so do you want to go ahead and issue out now uh this week's challenge and just keep in mind everyone now you can uh start writing up as soon as we close down tara's question for week two you can go ahead and start writing that write up make sure you tag us and you'll be getting those points uh you know 25 points for the write up for tara's question but let's I'm go so ahead and issue this week's write ups <laughs> yes I, yeah i'm really <laughs> looking forward to the to the write ups for week two but i guess it's time to give you guys week three's question and i'm excited about week three's question and you know um i i hope that you 
paid attention to the presentation that Chris Vance and I gave on iOS versus Android. Uh, I tend to write questions off of things I'm currently researching. That should be more than enough of a hint. But uh, That's a great hint to start. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Which exit did the device user pass by that could have been taken for cargo? All right. We have week three. We have week three, so we'll be closing week two's question. You can now start submitting your write-ups, and week three's question is live. So we'll have Jess's question up until next Monday morning. Awesome. I can't Cannot wait, wait to see the write-ups and can't <laughs> wait to see what we get. And who knows, we might issue out another random uh, trivia question like we did last week, just midweek, something. I don't know. We'll see, you know, what what I can come up with uh, you know, throughout the week. But that's great. Anything else from y'all? No, just really, uh, you know, I've got to tell people what my favorite thing is that maybe they don't get access to, which is um, we can see the wrong submissions that come in. Like we have a filter for wrong submissions and we can just see those wrong answers. And I've got to tell you, we test and play with your wrong answers to try to determine how folks came to those conclusions. And I learning so much from that, I think that um, and, and we can look at them anonymized, but I think that might be an interesting thing to explore in the future because I know that I'm learning a lot from it and I know that I also am testing the hell out of all those wrong answers to see if maybe they were right. So just so you guys know, we obsess over your wrong submissions as well. Uh, anonymized, just seeing what the answers are to see, A, could that have been right? And, and B, how how was that conclusion drawn? What was the the methodology to get there? So that's a lot of interesting fun that I think we're having on our end. Definitely. And I will say when I start seeing some of those answers, I'm like, wait, let me double check and make yeah. sure. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm definitely doing the question. same thing. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> But Excellent. Yeah, well, everyone's doing such a great job. I hope everyone's. Oh my gosh! It. It's so fun to to be able to do this with everybody and interact. And I hope everyone else is having a blast as much as we are. Oh, we're having so much fun, and we're having fun <laughs> writing these questions. Uh, and I'm really excited about like also the fact that the next category of what are we going to do is is going to be really really fun. So I'm excited for the next image too, which I guess you guys are going to find out next week. So. Yep. Yep. We'll we'll talk about <laughs> it next week. Awesome. Well, thank y'all. Everyone have a great week and we'll see y'all next Monday. See ya. Bye, everybody.